You're listening to Med School Radio. Welcome back to Med School Radio. This is Simon here in Chicago. Today we're going to be looking at First Aid 2020, page 709, Easily Confused Medications. We're going to be looking at the drugs and the clinical use mechanism of action. I'm going to read the drugs and you have to try and decide what is their clinical use and mechanism of action. So let's begin. So we have three in this list, amiloride, amiodarone, and amlodipine. Amiloride is a potassium sparing diuretic. Amiodarone is a class three antiarrhythmic and amlodipine is a dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker. Next, benztropine and bromocryptine. Benztropine is a cholinergic antagonist and bromocryptine is a dopamine agonist. The next two here, buspirone and bupropion. Buspirone is for generalized anxiety disorder. It is a 5-HT1A receptor agonist. And bupropion is for depression and smoking cessation. It is an NEDA reuptake inhibitor. Next we have chlorpromazine and chlorpropamide. Chlorpromazine is a typical antipsychotic, typical antipsychotic, and chlorpropamide is a first generation sulfonuria. The next two. Chlorpherenamine and chlorthalidone. Chlorpherenamine is a first generation antihistamine and chlorthalidone is a thiazide diuretic. Next, clozapine and clomirapine. Clozapine is a 5-HT2A agonist, and clomirapine is a tricyclic antidepressant. The next two are clomiphene and clonidine. Clomiphene is a selective estrogen receptor modulator and clonidine is an alpha-2 agonist. Doxapin and doxazosin. Doxapin is a tricyclic antidepressant. Doxazosin is an alpha-1 antagonist. Eplerinone and propafenone. Eplerinone is a potassium sparing diuretic. Propafenone is a class 1C antiarrhythmic. Okay, the next three. Fluoxetine, flufenazine, and duloxetine. First, fluoxetine. This is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Flufenazine is a typical antipsychotic, typical antipsychotic. And duloxetine is a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. Next is guaifenacin and guanfacine. Guaifenacin is an expectorant which thins respiratory secretions. Guanfacine is an alpha-2 agonist. Next, mifepristone and misoprostol. Mifepristone is a progesterone receptor antagonist and misoprostol is a PGE1 synthetic analog. The next two are naloxone and naltrexone. Naloxone is an opioid 
receptor antagonist. It treats toxicity. Naltrexone is an opioid receptor antagonist. It prevents relapse. Next two, nitroprusside and nitroglycerin. Nitroprusside is for a hypertensive emergency. It increases CGMP and NO. Nitroglycerin is an anti-angino. It increases CGMP and NO. Omeprazole and ketoconazole. Omeprazole is a proton pump inhibitor. Ketoconazole is an antifungal. It inhibits fungal sterol synthesis. Okay, coming closer to the end now. The next two, aripiprazole and anastrozole. Aripiprazole is an atypical antipsychotic. Anastrozole is an aromatase inhibitor. Rifaximin and rifampin. Rifaximin is for hepatic encephalopathy. It decreases ammoniogenic bacteria. Rifampin is an antimicrobial. It inhibits DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Sertraline and seligaline. Sertraline is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Seligaline is a MAO-B inhibitor. Trazodone and tramadol. Trazodone is for insomnia. It blocks 5-HT2, alpha-1 adrenergic, and H1 receptors. Tramadol is for chronic pain. It is a weak opioid agonist. And the last two, varenicline and venlafaxine. Varenicline is for smoking cessation. Nicotinic acetylcholine receptor partial agonist. And venlafaxine is a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. Thank you very much.